I'm back with another video. As you guys know, it is Real Talk Wednesdays. And last week we talked about um, C-sections and the complications and everything from having a C-section. This week we're going to talk about military families and members and everything they go through and the consequence the uh, the sacrifices they make to make sure our country is safe um if you guys don't know um my husband he's in the u.s um u.s army national guard he's not active he's reserved which which means that one weekend out of every month he goes to drill. Now, we're from Memphis, Tennessee, but my husband has to drive our way to Jackson, Tennessee to go to drill because that is where his unit, that's where he's stationed and that's where his unit is. So, um, he's been in six years. Um, come March, he enlisted um, our 12th grade year of high school. So, that's how long. He's been in. That, that tells you, you know, me and his, me and our ages. Um, y'all, it's so hard being a military spouse. Like, you got to worry about deployments. You have to worry about not getting paid enough. You have to worry about uh, being taken away from your family and everything like that. So, I will say... My husband, um, the most he's been away from us is a month, but coming up real soon, it'll be a year. Now that I don't want to talk about it, but I, I don't think I can say too much about it. I just know that um, pretty soon he'll be going on a year deployment, which is the longest we've never been away from each other, yet along my kids. So that's gonna be like a emotional, uh, emotional type of thing that you know I have to mentally prepare myself for being away from my husband that long, from having that emotional and physical support. So although I'm married and we're still gonna be together, it's like I'll be a single parent for a whole year because my husband won't physically be here to help me with the kids and you know bills will still get paid because you know he's still gonna be getting paid he's still gonna be paying the bills and everything but like far as like physically being here he won't be here he'll be overseas um yeah so you have to worry about deployments you have to worry about not getting paid enough now i will say because he's not active and he goes to drill one weekend out of a, out of a month his checks don't be that much. Um, you have to worry about, you know, insurance wise. Um, you, when you're not active, you don't have um, the military insurance, so you have to get your own insurance. I will say this though. Um, they make sure that you have life insurance policies. So like, um, you know, when you when you're single, it's just you. But when you're not single, you know, I'm not I'm not sure if it's if it's like a requirement or if it's something that you can choose. But you know, when you're have when you have a family, you can also get you know life insurance on everyone in your in your household. So I say that's a plus when, you know, if something was to happen, you don't have to worry about, you know, how am I going to pay for this? How am I, how am I going to get that and everything? Um, it's, you have to worry about, you know, being constantly being restationed places like, because he's not active, I don't I don't have to worry about that. But active people have to worry about that, you know. It's every so often, you know, you can be stationed. Let's just say you station here for like a year or two. And at any point in time you can be stationed and transferred to another unit somewhere else. Luckily I haven't had to deal with that because I really don't want to. 
Um, you have to, the, they have two week trainings that they have to do every year. It's just a one, two week training, depending on, I guess, depending on their unit. Um, my, uh, the last two week training when the, so this is what I say when you have you are taken away from your family doing like precious moments and stuff like this. So in my last video, I stated that <clears throat> two weeks after I had my baby, my last baby, um, my husband had to leave. He had to leave because he had his two week AIT training. I had. He had no control of it. I had no control of it. So, in that very moment where I needed him, I had no choice. And he had no choice but to go because, let's be serious, you signing, you signing your name on a contract, giving yourself to the government for a certain amount of years. So, since, being it, since he signed that six-year contract, he's obligated to go whenever they tell him he he has to go so i he and i had no control over him being able to stay at home those two weeks right after i had our last child um you have to worry about like let's be honest here um although i'm not in the the military I know the sacrifices that my family have to make. You know, you have you have this man who has a wife and kids. He signed the contract with the government to protect and to serve. Um, you have to realize that they're risking their own lives to protect you. Like they putting their family on the back burner to make sure that your country is safe. I feel like service any pretty much any service member to be honest i feel like military people don't get enough credit as they should like you're taking taking that precious time emotional physical and mental support from their families like as i go back my husband is going to be gone a whole year away from his family. Mind you, we've been together since, we've been together going on five years. But we've been married going on one year. Our kids are six, I finna say two, six, three, and soon to be two. They've never, when I say never, they've never been away from their dad that long. N nor have I. So a year is a long time. They're sac they sacrificing their precious time that they could be giving to their family to protect and serve you. Some do it for the money. Some do it because... They love to protect people or they love the, the idea of defending their country, making sure that it stays safe from other countries and other people that wants to take us out. So y'all have to take into account the stuff that they deal with on a daily basis. Um, I'm wiping my eyebrow off. <laughs> um, It's just a lot. I, I feel like some like I want to touch on a whole lot more stuff, but I know it's a lot of stuff that I cannot talk about. Being as though when you sign that contract or when you in the fam in the you're part of a military family, certain stuff you cannot even you cannot say. Like I'm not even sure if I was supposed to say anything about his deployment. Well, I didn't say when and where. All I said was for how long and um oh uh, yeah, all I said was for how long. So I didn't specify too much. Hopefully my husband don't make me take this down, but y'all um it's it's a lot dealing with dealing with somebody that's in the military. Um but 
we get through it. Um, only because they want to protect you and your families. Um, I do feel as though, um, it's, it's a lot more things we could do to, you know, help military, uh, members and families as far as like, you know, care packages. Like I decided my husband, my husband told me not to, but I think I'm still going to do it. Um, I decided that when they do leave, not right away, but I'm going to do care packages for everybody in their their unit. He said it's organizations that does that, but me personally, I want to do it because I want to be able to be some type of support. Like, yeah, I'm supporting because, you know, I'm at home with the kids. And making sure everything at home is okay while he's gone. I want to be, you know, some service members don't have family. So, here they here they are across the ocean in another area with no emotional, physical support. A card, a card would just make anyone happy. I know if I was in a, in a service and I was away from family and everything, and I received the card, I will be so happy. Um, I said the care packages, you know, letters, snacks, books, magazines, you know, something for them to occupy their time while they are away. Um, I'm not sure if I covered everything, but um, I think that about sums it up now if i think about more stuff then that i know i can talk about i will put it in another video but that is all for today that is all for today's real talk wednesdays don't you guys forget to like comment subscribe share the video share your favorite videos um and continue supporting me i thank you guys so much for your support you guys don't know how much I am grateful for you guys' support. It's, it's very much so appreciated. I'm going to continue to upload. I know the past couple of days I haven't really uploaded, but that was because my videos were uploading so slow. So I didn't want to upload videos, and it took forever. Like, the video that was uploaded Tuesday, it's... It, it got all the way to almost the end, and then it started right back over uploading. So, I was kind of upset about that. So, that's the main reason why. But, everything is back to normal now. So, I will start back uploading videos. I'm going to start trying to upload videos every single day. At least, if not seven days a week, at least five days a week to be, you know, more consistent. But, go, go like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. Your favorite videos. Um, I say this week, you sh you guys should check out. Um, I posted a video yesterday. I tried to do a makeup tutorial, y'all. It just was all wrong. So I pretty much changed it, made it into an epic fail video. So go check that out. I love you guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm.